Hey everyone, I'm here today with a review on a pen that I've had uh, for quite a while now, uh, some months. I bought it last year, but I never really ended up using it, so I didn't make a video over it. I do plan on selling it at some point, but I figured um, I'm on a no-buy currently, so I'm really not having things pouring in <laughs> to make videos about. Uh, so I'm thinking about going through some old stuff and reviewing things like that so I can have some content <laughs> to post. So anyway, this is a Retro 51 uh, Rollerball, Tornado Rollerball, and this is an exclusive with Anderson Pens, and it's called the Palmer. This is the box it comes in. This is the design on the pen. There's a peacock with some intricate line work here. Um, I do have their website pulled up, and it says that uh, this pen is an acid etched peacock design on a brushed antique gold barrel with dark antique trim modeled after the Tiffany peacock doors located at the Palmer House Hilton. So this is a door or do modeled after some doors that are in the place where Anderson Pens is located, I believe. So it, it's really beautiful. This is a really pretty pen. It's just a little too heavy for me, actually, which is why I didn't use it. So here's ooh, the box opens up like that. The pen is sitting in a little piece of foam to hold it upright. It comes with a rollerball reminder and a little booklet. The booklet just has, um, I guess, instructions on how to use their pens, warranty, typical box stuff. So here's the pen, it just comes out. Here is the top of it. And uh, excuse the brown ink on my fingers. I actually just filmed my swatch video. <laughs> Trying to record a bunch of videos today because I haven't recorded anything in a while. So I have brown ink on my fingers from my last video that I just got done recording. So this is the pen. This is a hefty pen. It's probably, it, it, it's around 30 grams, I believe, which is a little too heavy for me but I didn't return the pen, so I don't know why I didn't, because I wasn't using it. But it's really beautiful. And I think the colors are really nice too. The, the brassy color with the silver, it's almost like a dark, like a gunmetal trim almost. Really, really pretty. The clip is super tight. I feel like I would shred any clothes <laughs> that I tried to clip this to. It's super tight. It's got like a knurled um, grip here. So whenever you turn it, that pops out. And then uh, it came with, I believe this is a, actually, you know, I don't know. I don't know if this is a medium or a fine. Um, refill. It's a Schmidt refill. The picture on Anderson Pens has a Retro 51 refill, but this came with a Schmidt, which I mean, it's, I'm sure it's the exact same thing, but yeah. Schmidt. That's how the pen uh, refills. So let's do a writing sample. Oh, no, I forgot to mention this pen is uh, $65 at Anderson Pens. So since this is a rollerball, I'm just going to compare it with other rollerballs I have. And uh, I guess my ballpoint, because I don't, I don't know why I would compare this to a fountain pen. Because you can also, you can get different refills if you don't like the line width. So I don't know. I, I do, I like doing writing samples, so that's what we're going to do. So it writes pretty smoothly. Uh, I feel like this is a medium, a medium refill because it's like super bold. Let's pull out some of my other non-fountain pen pens. 
So this is my uh, Pelican uh, R405. Somebody commented me, or commented, corrected me in the comments of my review video of this. I was calling it an M405, but it's an R405 because it's the rollerball. So thank you for that. So this is my Pelican R405. The Stressimon. So, yeah, that is, and this is a point five. I think maybe a, I think it's a point five. Actually, let's check just for just to make sure because I don't want to tell you that it's a point five and then it's like a point four. Uh, yes, this is a point five, and this is an Oto refill. I freaking love this refill so much. It is the best. So smooth. Wonderful. Here is... Eh, I'll save that for another video. I got a new pen. A new rollerball that I'm like super in love with. I'll save that for a different video though. It is the same type of refill as this and the same size. So you're not going to see anything new. And this is on Cosmo Airlight paper, by the way. This is my Sailor Pro Gear Imperial Black Ballpoint Pen. All right, so here's the writing sample. So yeah, this is definitely probably a 0.7 or like a medium size refill that it comes with. This is a fine the Pelican. These are not the same refills, but this is a 0.5 size. This is a 0.7. So this is quite a bit wider. And then this is, I think this is a fine quote, quotation marks, fine. Maybe, I don't know, a ballpoint refill, but yeah, there's the difference. So what you're getting is going to be quite thick. I do not like pens that write that. That's super thick. I like finer uh, refills, but yeah, so that's the writing sample. And this is the pen. Uh, that's pretty much all I have to say about this pen. Uh, I It retails for 65. I think I already said that. But um, I mean, if you like nice rollerballs, this is a good quality rollerball. I mean, I definitely think that, you know, if you use it a lot, carry around, love on it, it's definitely worth the money. Yeah, I, I can see how a lot of people would find this comfortable to write with. It's comfortable for a little bit for me, but after a while, it, it just causes hand fatigue so that's why I don't really use it but it is very very beautiful I love the etchings I love the design I love that it's like art deco pretty sure that's what period that's from or art nouveau I don't know one of those art deco or art nouveau I don't know okay that is all I had for you. I will see you guys next time. If you have any questions, let me know. Bye.